Day, Kentucky, everyone. We are in the kitchen at Creative Kitchen and Bath, and we are here with Miss Allison Davis again. So, what are we working on today, Allison? Well, this is one of my favorite um, dishes. I love um, doing chickpea salads, uh -huh. um, and this is kind of like a good meatless Monday. Is kind of what I was thinking. Okay, you know, like a meatless Monday recipe where um, chickpeas are a great source of protein. Uh -huh. um, they are a legume, so if you're following, you know, more paleo and keto, this may not work, you know, with your mm -hmm. diet. But if you are exercising regularly and say you have a heavy, you know, leg day or a good workout day, mm -hmm. this is a great source of protein um, and a little bit higher in carbs. Okay, um, but so we're going to do a Mediterranean version or a Greek version of a chickpea salad. So Yum. all the Greek uh, salad ingredients, but then adding the chickpeas in uh -huh. as the protein. Okay. Okay. Very good. So we've got some cucumbers. I'll probably cut up some more. And then I went ahead and prepped up some more um, ingredients. So I've just got some cherry tomatoes, some bell peppers, and some red onions all going in and all raw, which okay. is great because um, it's very healthy. You're getting a lot of uh, filling here. Yep. I'm going to show off uh, their drawer. I love that thing right I there know. when I need it. It's um, a beautiful kitchen. It really so is. So you got tons of fresh color. We're going to take, of course, some feta, mm. um, which is a great uh, cheese, a great fat. Would you like to help me crumble that I up? would love that. Okay. <laughs> so, right, before we started the camera, she was like, mmm, feta. Feta. Feta cheese. I'm getting geez. pretty excited. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. All right, so once we um, have our feta in there, we can go ahead and add in our chickpeas, and then I'm going to work on the dressing, okay. which is really just red wine vinegar, a good bit of red wine vinegar. You could also go okay. with lemon juice if you wanted. Uh -huh. um, and then I've got just some fresh herbs. I've got some oregano that I'm just breaking up. I have some uh, fresh dill uh -huh. that we're going to break up as well. And you want me to put these chickpeas in, yeah. right? Yeah, chickpeas all go in. All right. Perfect. So the dill, um, I don't even chop up because it's so delicate that you really, once you just break it apart and start whisking it, it's good yeah. to go. Yeah. So fresh dill, and then I've got some chopped parsley going in as well. And Very nice. And I'm going to season this up with salt and pepper. So mainly this dressing is just um, fresh herbs, vinegar salt and pepper and olive oil. Okay. So very, very simple. If you're a big fan of garlic though, you could certainly add, you know, some garlic in there. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. I love garlic. Right? So. Lots of garlic. <laughs> Much to Doug's chagrin. <laughs> <laughs> so we give it a good whisk and then just take our olive oil and start to whisk it in in um, small bits so that we kind of create this nice um, very emulsion. Very nice. Yeah, so I mean, turn that up just so we can get a good shot of that and yeah. just show, you know, how colorful and how much we got out of just two cans of chickpeas. I mean, look at that. I haven't even added the other two cucumbers. So right. really, that's just one cucumber, maybe a pint of uh, cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. one block of feta. So inexpensive, and then that could feed a full family. Well, exactly, if not more. I mean, it right. really, it's, it's quite a bit here. Yeah. So um, I, yeah, I just love this, and I love the thought of trying to, uh, you know, I love meat, but don't get me <laughs> wrong, but if we can have like one day maybe where we're focusing more on our veg and maybe right. going meatless, mm -hmm. um, it's only going to benefit us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I mean, this would complement a nice meat meal as well. As yeah, a, as yeah, a you could certainly salad. use this as a side or just take it to a uh, neighborhood, you know, potluck or something like that where right. um, everybody's kind of coming together. A potluck would be great for something with this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this could even be made the day ahead. Right. And just let it sit and let all those flavors kind of come together. How long do you think a salad like this would last in the fridge? This would last for a good five days. Would it? Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Smells fantastic too. Yum. I gotta All try right. it. I'm gonna try my little cucumber here. Yeah, what do you think? Mmm. Oh, that's You really so need good. the acidity, but then all yeah. of the earthy flavors from the uh, fresh herbs mm -hmm. really just work so nicely. It really does. It's fantastic. Yeah. Love all it. All right. All right. Well, for this recipe <laughs> and many other recipes, head over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. Or you can head over to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com. And you're also on Instagram, right? I am. I try to share as much as I can with my love of food. Uh -huh. um, but you also see plenty of nice shots of my daughter at, <laughs> um, and, and family. Okay. But um, it's at Chef Allison Davis. Well, and it's a family show, so yeah. we, we, yeah. we all do that. We are very proud of our kids, kids <laughs> as we should be. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here.